back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I have another easy, simple, but delicious recipe for you guys. We're going to be making tahini sauce. But before we get into the video, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. All right, let's get started. So if you haven't seen it already, definitely make sure to check out how I make tahini right here at home. It's going to be super, super easy. It's two up to three ingredients and it's way cheaper than store-bought. Now, not only is this super delicious, easy, quick to make, but it's dairy-free and vegan as well for all you guys out there that follow this type of diet. So you can use this lemony, garlicky tahini sauce on everything. You can use it as a dip for veggies, you can use it as a spread, you can use it as a sauce, you can pour it over veggies, meat, lettuce wraps, beat that bread, anything. It's super, super delicious and really, really versatile. If you haven't seen it already, definitely also make sure to check out my tzatziki sauce recipe. It's another really good one. That's more of like a light cucumber -y and Greek yogurt flavor. So like I said, this tahini sauce recipe, you can use as a dressing, you could drizzle it on anything, you can use it as a spread. So many, so many options. So just showing you guys another way to use tahini other than hummus. <laughs> So without further ado, I'm going to go grab a bowl and a whisk because that's pretty much all you're going to need and then we're going to get started. Okay, so all you're going to need here oh, is your tahini. <laughs> so all you're going to need for this recipe is your tahini, some fresh parsley, some fresh garlic. Now I definitely have more than one clove here, but you know, come on, it's garlic. And you're going to need some olive oil, some freshly squeezed lemon juice, and some ground kind, red pepper, cumin, and sea salt are all optional. And you're just going to want to put a sprinkle, but I mean, that's more flavor, so why would you not do that? So, we're going to add in our tahini. And we're going to add in our garlic, olive oil, lemon juice. Parsley. Now to sprinkle in the spices. Ah, I don't like anything too hot. I'm scared. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. And see now, I remember I told you, or if you watched my other video, if you didn't, um, I didn't put any salt in my tahini, and this is one of the reasons why, because most other recipes call for salt, so I don't want to over-salt anything up. I want to have more control. So, like right now, just putting a little bit of a sprinkle, and I didn't have any in the tahini, so I know I'm not overdoing anything. So now all we're going to be doing is stirring this on up, and then we're going to get to our water. Now, with the water, you're going to be adding lukewarm warmer, lukewarm warmer, lukewarm water, about a tablespoon at a time. Now, this is just going to depend on the consistency that you want. Again, if you want this to be more of a dressing, you're obviously going to be adding more. If you want this to be more of a dip or more of a spread, you're just going to add a little bit less. That's it. All right. So let's whisk this on up. Oh yeah. Now you're going to see, this is obviously going to be, you know, thinning out like a little bit once you've, because you've added the olive oil, you're adding more than what was already in the tahini, and you're adding the lemon juice. Okay, so this is the kind of consistency that we have now. It's kind of like a dressing, maybe like, mm, a little bit thicker than a dressing, but this is where you're just going to want to play with it. So add your lukewarm water, get the consistency to... The desired consistency that you like. That's all we're going to be doing here. Just mess around with this. Mm. And taste it as you go. You never know. You might want to add a little bit more of a kick. I like more lemon juice. So you might want to add a little bit more lemon juice. Totally up to you guys. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now again, we do have olive oil in here. We have water, clearly, and we have lemon juice, so again, if this is in the fridge and just like any other normal dressing or dip, if this is, um, cute, just washed this, <laughs> if this, um, starts separating on you, that's completely normal, just give it a nice little stir or shake it up, whatever container you're putting it in before you serve it. Okay, guys, we're all done. 
smells super delicious. I'm just going to do my typical and test it out with some veggies. Mm. So good. I'm starting to feel that bit of a kick. Okay. Mm -hmm. Super delicious, guys. But with my honest opinion, I think this tahini sauce would go best probably with like a lettuce wrap or a pita wrap or like a spread or something like that. I'm not 100% with it on just dipping my veggies. Now maybe that's just because I don't care for a kick or anything like that with some veggies, but I think this would do awesome with like some meat on a nice wrap, maybe on like some pita bread or something. I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna have to incorporate this somehow. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if you try this at home, but that's all I have for this video today, you guys. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something new. If you did like it, make sure to give this video a nice thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss another one of my videos. <laughs> if you want to get my exclusive nutrition tips, healthy food recommendations, and delicious recipes right to your inbox, then make sure to head over to my description box, click the link, and join the fam. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.